What up, what up? This is your boy Checo. This is your boy Noe. What up? And this is Compas Unfiltered. Thank you guys for listening, for watching. Make sure you guys follow all of our social media. Subscribe and like. And make sure you go rate us on Apple Podcasts, Spotify. Make sure you drop a comment on YouTube. Uh, like and subscribe. Yes, sir. Enjoy the episode. Hey, did you have a BMX bike for or no? Nah. Were you a bike rider or no? No. no? Damn. We did uh I had a mountain bike. Yeah. But that's about it, bro. No, I I had I didn't have any. And it of wasn't those. your thing either. You weren't like ah. Oh. I mean for for a little bit it was. Everybody else was on their dinos and I was on my mountain bike. Or whatever the fuck, you know? So yeah, dinos are dope, dude. Yeah. Or or the rhinos or whatever, you know, fuck the cheaper version, I guess. Yeah. Yeah. I would I w I'd never no. I thought it was cool way because everybody had like their pegs and different colors y la chingada and like hey let me ride your pegs and they're like you're too fucking fat and I'm like fuck so they would say shit. that shit nah I just fucking with you uh, like, <laughs> <laughs> like fucking assholes I used to ride a lot man even in Mexico and England though Heights bro. yeah I was, yeah I was I love riding bikes bro big time but yeah I never had a my brother had a couple of dinos though yeah yeah and Cali probably stolen but they probably no. Oh. Damn, Oscar. And they, probably, and they probably was stolen again from him. <laughs> they probably jacked him. Yeah. Damn, Oscar. Yeah, he has some cool bikes, man. You got to let us know if he stole them or if they got stolen. Yo, one time I was on my bike full when I was little, riding fast as hell, dude, and I didn't think, and I pressed the front brake. Oh, you flipped? I flipped and landed on my back, and I didn't let go of the bike, dog. So you fought cool and shit? Hell no, I fought her. <laughs> <laughs> Out of my dumb ass, I didn't, I guess it happened so fast, bro, that I was like, I didn't let go, dude. I landed like this, and I was like, with the bike, I'm like, fuck. I'm sure it hurt, bro. I don't remember if I cried or not, but I'm sure I was a little bitch, you know? You probably did cry. I probably did. You probably did. <laughs> <laughs> but that was dope, though. I've, I've fallen did. off of it. I think everybody's falling off of the bike and shit, right? We used to go to this spot, bro, in Addison. It was called The Bean. The Beaner? I've never been. Yeah. Dope. It, it was. It was, I mean, it was steep. So we would go up to, yeah. Oh, so you go up to the hill. Yeah, and go down? For sure. We have that now in, Gl- in Hanover, bro. There's a, a place. Like where a hill? Like, and then you yeah, could... it's really steep. Um, I took, I, th- I thought I told you this story, no? Yeah, you took, you took, took Ivan? Yeah, yeah, and that fool fell. Oh, yeah. <laughs> the first time he fell, bro, because he braked too fast and it started like. Oh, like, shit. Cayó. But he's back on it. He's like he's. He was a champ. He took it up. Like he got up he and. Cr- no, he cried that day. But we oh, went okay. back again, and he's like, "Yeah, let's. Are we gonna go on there?" I'm like, "Hey, man, if you good, like, let's do it. Let's do, it. yeah, yeah." And he did. He did it a few times now. So he didn't do it on this new bike though. No. Like, nah, I gotta, I gotta get the brakes adjusted to to get it right. You know. You gotta loop it up and. Pues como que no están agarrando bien, so I just gotta make sure they get it right. So I'm like, hey, fool, like, so he could at least break because there's not a lot of space between the hill and the. You street. know how to work on the bikes like that. I tried tweaking those, bro, and I wasn't able to. It's not like the traditional, bro. These are like, I don't know. They they work different. That's that fancy shit. Because oh, okay. I tried tweaking them and I couldn't. And, I, uh, I took at least an hour trying to tweak them. You know. No, I couldn't do it. I was like, you know what? I'm going to just take it to a shop and get it done. Yeah. That's what I, where would you take it? What shop is there? Uh, there's is, one is there in, bike shops around? Like, yeah. You know? Oh, okay. There's one by, by, there's two by me. One in Hanover Park or Streamwood area. But that fool was racist. I ain't going back. And then there's a. Uh, there's one in Bartlett that fixed my mountain bike, and there that was good, good okay. service. So I will go back there. Fuck the other dude then. Yeah, fuck the other person. All right, bro. Episode one sixteen. That's what we said, right? Episode mm-hmm. one sixteen. New episode. Shout out to shout everybody out, who's listening, out. watching. Oh shit! Right off the bat, bro. Some yeah. shout outs, bro. I have one too. Go ahead. No, that's yeah, yeah. I wasn't include yours, but go ahead. No, go because I have this is not the one you were. Gonna oh no? no, okay. Shout out Rodrigo's wife from uh, David told me about this one. Um, oh, okay. I guess he has a coworker and which is his name. His name is Rodrigo. And he's like, oh yeah, my wife listens to Combas Unfiltered. She listened to that one episode of uh, of David. Okay. He's like, oh man, give her a shout out. I'm like, so, but he didn't tell me the wife's name. He just said Rodrigo's wife. So Rodrigo's wife, shout out. Shout uh, out Compa Rodrigo. Shout out Rodrigo's wife. Yeah, for sure. El Compa Lupillo compa from Lupillo. Venados. Shout out, Compa. Saludos. El Compa Noe met you uh, the other day. So, saludos, compas. También a los compas de los venados. Tamborazo los venados. Tamborazo los venados. For all tamborazo needs. Cristalera. And then if they're not available, call venados. <laughs> Just <laughs> call Cristalera. 
I'm a hater like that. Just call Cristalera. Fuck that shit. Nah, nah. Uh, it's yeah, all love. Yeah. It's all love. Saludazos, compa. Saludos, nice saludos, compa. Nice meeting all you guys, man. Hell yeah. Uh, as always, we got always got to shout out the pod fam. So shout out Paula, shout out Chingonas, este Diana, Cynthia, Calentanos. Calentanos. Shout out to the homie Abner. I never, I mean, I told him like thank you and shit for coming out for the pod when when you were uh, when you were out. But shout out to the homie Abner Carnales podcast. He filled in when Noe was out. Shout out to you, compa. Uh, what's your shout out, bro? My shout outs for my cousin Jesse and Emily. For those oh, who listen to the pod, you guys know who they are. They were the couple that were here. Uh, I for, forgot what we named that uh, episode. It was Mary, uh, marrying into the culture. Marrying into the culture. Yeah. So yep. they just had their baby. Congratulations, guys. Shout out, bro. Saludos. Salucita de la buena. And congrats, man. Big Huge shout out congrats. to you guys. What do they have? I knew you were going to ask that. You don't know? I think it's a boy. Yeah. It's a boy? Yeah. That's badass. That's dope. Shout out, compa Jesse and Emily. Yeah. Oh, boy. I think it le puso Jesse, if I'm not mistaken, bro. Oh, Junior. Yeah. I think it's going to be a Junior. Oh. If you listen to this pod, you, you correct us if we're wrong. <laughs> Jesse don't listen. He didn't even listen to his own pod. <laughs> Fucking was, Jesse, bro. Yeah. <laughs> we still send shout outs, though. We still send shout outs. Hell yeah. Mad love, man. We'll get to meet the baby soon, bro. Go drop in on you. So, uh, the last episode, bro, we talked we talked about a few things, but we did talk about el taco de ojo. Yeah. And um, I did want to bring this up, that I, which I forgot. And I, I'm going to bring this up, and then we'll move on to something else. But for the taco de ojo, bro, have, have you ever, like, what's the most disrespectful place you've ever, que te has, que te has echado un taco de ojo, we? I mean, you would got to say, well, first, I got to start Not disrespect this. to the wife, just the, In the environment that well, it's for, like. Yeah, so the first thing is, they say that the best places to meet hot women or hot, whatever is going to be church and the airport. Okay. So the most disrespectful place would probably be church. Church. You know? Uh huh. I would say that. Okay. Yeah. Because you're supposed to be focused on. You're supposed God. to be focused on God, and I'm over here standing yeah, at the girl yeah, with the dress. Yeah, exactly. Simone. Yeah. Same. That and funerals. I don't go to many funerals. And no, me neither do I. But me, me uno, and I was like, damn, this is wrong, bro. Like I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go to hell. Like this is so fucked up. Yeah. The person that dies comes up and like, really, bro? Really? <laughs> That's crazy. Nah, hell no. Nah. I, I don't think I had a funeral, but yeah, I probably church. Yeah, church. See? Yeah, I think it's normal, but back then I was like, this is so fucked up, bro. Like, I shouldn't be. Because I feel when you were younger, too, you'd go and you're like, ah, oh, this is probably going to be girls, you know? Yeah. I'd like anything else. Yeah. I feel like as a guy, young guy, you're like, man, there's going to be girls anywhere. You know? Like, yeah, Simone. It didn't matter where you were. Going. And then you would hear, too, that like, uh, I forgot what was the say. It's like you, you, uh, you don't go to the club to meet the girl and spend X amount. You go to the church where she's gonna be at the next day, and you can pick them up. I never heard that. Yeah. Damn. And I was like, damn, for real. What pimp said that? I don't know. He was a G though. He was a G. He was a G. Anyways, so I watched this interview with a CIA agent, and they were asking him like. When he went undercover, how does how is it like? What does he you know? What does he uh, what does he do? Um, and he was talking about how when he first meets the person that I guess he's trying to I forget the word that he used, but he's trying to get to know. He's like everyone has three lives. Everyone you meet, you got your public life, your private, and then your secret life. And I was like, huh. He's like, so your public life is obviously whatever you want people to know about you. Mm -hmm. Your private life is you and your spouse. And then you have your secret life, which is your, your spouse doesn't even know about. He's like, now for some people, it could be something as small um, as, I don't know. Uh, he used this example. Uh, you like fucking whack off before you go to the shower or some shit. You know what I mean? That's a secret life. Like your wife doesn't know about it, that you're off you're in your shower and you're jerking off or whatever the fuck, right? Mm -hmm. Your private life, obviously, it's uh, your feet smell. Your wife sleeps with you. She knows your feet smell or whatever. And I was all like, damn. Like, I never thought about it like that. I never thought about it like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because there's obviously, but I, I think it's true. I do think it's true. Um, 
And he said, obviously, some people are like their secret life is a lot bigger than than other people. Some people could be something small and like it shouldn't be that big of a deal, but they still keep it to themselves because they don't want anybody else to know, like not even their own spouse. He's like, but then there's people who like big, big fucking secret life, like, you know, they're pedophiles or whatever the fuck, you know, or like sure. something crazy because, you know, he's a CIA agent. So these are the type of people that he kind of he's coming across like they're not obviously good people for the most part. Yeah. So and he, he was just like, my my job is to. As like within the week, within a day, try to get as close to that um, private life as, as the, the sooner, the better. The private or the secret? The private. He's like, because once you get into the private, then there's a chance to get into the secret. Oh. He's all like, if I can't get in within uh, the private life, like, so the public life is what everybody knows. If I can't get into the, pri to the private life, like within X amount, I got to pull out. Because something like they have some kind of like time or whatever. It was crazy. It was like that. that sounds, is that the curly hair dude that was on TikTok or no? I don't know what he's talking. I didn't see it on TikTok. But oh, okay, okay, okay. All I saw. Right. I think I saw it on YouTube. I saw oh, it. It was like it's like an actual. Man. Yeah, I was all like, "Holy shit!" Now here's a question for you, since you saw that, dude. Do you feel like like there shouldn't be a secret life, or like you feel like that's kind of like your space for sanity? Like, oh, like I have something for myself too. Okay, like what do you think? Because there's a lot of people that are like, nah, my wife knows everything. You know. I think the like secret life, bullshit? well, like, well, no, because he says like some things it could be like something very minimal, very small, but they just want to kind of keep that to themselves. So he's using the example of like, like I said, bad people, you know? And yeah. I like, mean, if you're doing some terrible shit, yeah, you're definitely yeah. going to involve that many people. You know? Right. You're keeping that to you. If you're a smart criminal. Yeah. If you're a dumb one, you're. Yeah. I mean, there's a lot of dumb criminals out yeah. there, so. But um, should you keep it secret? I mean, I I think yeah, you should have some things to yourself, right? To, um, but like I said, again, it depends on what that is too, though. Yeah, this is interesting, bro. I was just like, damn. But then he started mentioning like the whole like pedophiles and shit like that, or which obviously it just um doesn't sit well with me. Where every time when people talk about it, like I yeah. just you know get upset or whatnot. But it it brought is which is bringing on to my next like not 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 topic, bro. But something that happened to me at at work, where it's like when he mentioned that at my job way, there's two pedophiles. Nobody knew about them. We just found out about them, like maybe within the last month or so, or whatever. Maybe a little bit longer. Um, my obviously my job probably doesn't do a fucking background check and if they do they say they can't do anything about it when i'm only mentioning it because like, it already got brought up to light and it's like now everybody knows and looks at these people bro like you know they're pieces of shit but like is it because that uh, you could become a pedophile i think like if you're taking a leak at a public park we looked at the record oh it's real yeah because you could become a pedophile too, right? If you're like taking a leak out of uh, the I mean, not, not a pedophile, but what do they call that? Um, it's not indecent exposure, is it? It's it's just a. I thought it was something though, because it was at a park, like where the, there's kids. Right, but I, I don't think it's actually called pedophile. It's it's, it's something, something else, else though. That but they put you in that same category, they put you I in believe. The list, no? Yeah, in that list. Yeah, yeah, yeah. As a. So you'd come up on that list, that pedophile list. Right. You, you just. But that's it. not the name for it. That's uh, something else. Okay. Like, a, oh, god damn, I forgot what the I was just asking, but yeah, like, yeah, yeah, no, yeah. But my question was leading to like, are they real ones or like something like that? Happened? No, yeah, it was, no, it was had, something like that, cases. yeah, bro. And the thing is, like, the, the <laughs> guy tried to explain himself to a couple people because uh, someone who who's closer to him was like, hey man, we found out about this, like, get better way, like, on some like. You better have a good explanation. Way something was to happen, you were eighteen, she was seventeen, type shit. Like get pedo. But the thing is, we had already looked at, at his thing, so he was just like, "Oh man, I was. It was at a rough time, like drugs and alcohol." So we looked at it. Dude was like thirty way, she was ten. Yeah. Never in a fucking million years, bro, that have me doing fucking drinking and. Uh, drugs, drugs way like have I been like man se una de diez años way like what the fuck I mean now that it's, it's public public record right mm -hmm. but how do you feel about that person approaching that other person like 
did the person serve time already? Like they did their time. So they did their time. So how did like? Do you feel like that person should have approached that person? Like, I mean, that sounds kind of fucked up too. No. And I'm not backing up like the other person. I'm just saying, like, looking at different views. You yeah, know? no, because and the reason he he approached them is because his relationship was going towards they had already invited each other over to like, hey, we should have oh. some beers and shit like that. And this dude has kids. Oh shit. So so maybe that person as a pedophile registered pedophile like he should have brought it up like hey you know what like this is i have this on my case or some shit i think like, he should have uh, like if you're still cool with me coming that's fine but just i want you to know maybe that would have been courteous maybe for sure, and like more respectful yeah that's kind of fucked up because t- so man that's a tough one bro because typically you think of uh, people serving their time you know and and paying their dues time wise right and then that, that's done, you know. Like I pay my time for my crime, you know. Like that's it. And then with pedophiles, it doesn't seem like it goes that way. I just feel like that's that's a sickness that doesn't go away. Like, um, and it doesn't. It's not the same. But you know how when Jose was on here, he was talking about alcoholism. He's like, that's a disease, bro. It doesn't go away. You just kind of contain it. Mm. Like by going to AA meetings, by going to this, you know, whatever. Like. But then again, like you would, we wouldn't know, like if that person is getting therapy and like working on himself and like, Man, probably, yeah, right? like, probably. And like we remember when David was here, he was like, "Oh, we want him to get help, you know. We want him to be okay. Is he's sick, you know?" But but again, he's sick, so it's it's something that's that can come back. You know what I mean? That yeah, it's not something that you can just completely get rid of. It's something that I feel like he's gonna have to keep working on for the rest of probably his life. And when he used that excuse of alcohol and drugs, I was like, bro, like we've all gotten fucked up and done dumb shit, but I've never been like, yeah, yeah I want to fuck around with a little girl, bro. You, you no, get what I'm sure. saying? No, I get what you're saying, 100. percent I was just looking at all aspects. Yeah, you know? yeah I get it. Because that's almost like that. That gotcha wicked. They come up on you like, and like, yo, well, like, what's up with this? You know, and you're yeah. like, especially if you already served your time, you're probably like, what the fuck, you know? Yeah, that sucks, man. That sucks to have that on your. uh like I mean to be labeled like that, you know. To what be, I mean? yeah. I mean, well, you know, um, I actually have a neighbor way. That motherfucker's a pedophile, and we found out because we have a community page for my neighborhood, and someone I guess did research, and you know, you have to uh, register. So you're the registered sex offenders. That's that's the list. That's what you're talking about. Oh, okay. So it's not called for the people that. Yeah, well, they're and not a pedophile. They're just a they're registered, registered sex, sex offenders, offenders. and right. I think that w- that would fall in if you t- probably uh, take a leak and shit, whatever. Yeah, like, yeah. In, I remember that bringing being brought up in a conversation once. Yeah. So they they actually on the community page that we have for my neighborhood they uh, they looked them up or they found him that he was like within the you know our neighborhood our subdivision, and they posted it on Facebook and shit. And I seen it, and I was like, what the fuck? And I had the address, and I was like, bro, this is my neighbor. It's like, literally, like, you know? So I was like, damn. I'm like, well, I don't got any kids, but we do have family that comes over sometimes and whatnot. And you saw it. I think it was like a six-year-old kid, bro. I've been, I uh, I forgot who, oh, you know who posted it once? Vero. She was here for the real estate mm. podca- podcast episode, and she posted, like, the link to it. And I never ended up, like, getting to the link and, like, Figuring out like where in my area is there registered sex offenders, but I've been wanting to just to look, yeah, just to be aware, you know, just to be aware. Yeah, yeah. I mean, we're always on top of things, but it never hurts to be even more, you know, like more aware of like your surroundings in that way, you know, like all right, like that person, this person, all right, cool, you know, just yeah. have more, the more information you have in any situation is probably best, you know. Yeah. So I gotta take it some time to do that. Yeah, you should. I think I recommend everyone to do it just to check your area. Like I said, especially for like how they brought it up for like Halloween. And if you're going around the neighborhood, skip the house. I, it probably sounds bad. I mean, the thing is, I think you can get poisoned. You can whatever by anyone. But I think it's like knowing that that person is probably looking at your kid in, in a weird way. And what if this fool has cameras or something taking pictures of these little kids? Like, I don't fucking know. Yeah, a lot of weird but it's just going. like, I've, I would probably rather avoid that house. Me so, personally, like if I had I, kids, you know, yeah, I agree. Like, yeah, no, nah, we're not gonna get candy from bro. But um, so that was what kind of ties into it was like the whole like secret life, where this guy, these two people, individuals, um, you know, they, that's probably like in their secret life, and but it got brought to to light, you know. So now like everybody in my job knows. That sucks. Almost everyone. 
Like I I feel like I so we have like um uh company picnics and shit like that where we're allowed to bring our family. And that's where like I feel people should know, you know, but I don't want to be that person to go around like, hey, wait, it's the way, it's the way. You know, like I don't want to do that, but I do feel like people should know about it if, if they're especially if they're bringing your kids, you know, around to fucking convicted pedophiles. And we, like I said, we looked at their records. One was like 13. The other one was like 10 years old. Yeah, I think so. There's I no excuses way. I think you're right, bro. But but then again, by law, like I told you, like by law, maybe you paid you paid the you time paid for your due, crime. You paid your due, so you're... So like maybe the company's not, you know, allowed to say or some shit. But maybe if you were still like on probation for something, maybe they had to, you know, I don't know. Probably. Well, I, don't I don't know how that works. Yeah, yeah, I don't, yeah, know, I don't know, know how that works, you know? Like, but... I was just like, damn. So that that's the only reason I brought up the whole like secret life and uh, the CIA interview. Um, another thing is the COVID way is coming back. What? <laughs> A new fucking wave way. Like we've been hearing of like little waves here and there, but they're saying like China's like at 65 million per week now. So we get another one? So we're probably going to get another one. Another lockdown? I don't fucking know it, but I'm done with vaccines. I only did that one with the Pfizer or whatever the fuck, that that first one. I mean, I wouldn't even I know you didn't do it. I know you didn't do it, but I'm done with, I'm done with the vaccines, bro. And based on like what you hear of all these people passing from the vaccines or like something, like, I don't know if you've been hearing what happened with Jamie Foxx too, but. Was it from the vaccine? Or they're thinking it's probably because of. thinking it's something with it, you know, like, and there's been more people that have been like. That took that were forced kind of to take the vaccine, and then all of a sudden they're having these these health issues that are like kind of like linking or or uh, yeah, kind of linked to people that took the vaccine. Yeah, yeah, unfortunately, bro. Um, because you, you do hear right, like heart issues, uh, strokes, strokes, and and all that stuff, bro. Man, God forbid, bro. Well, uh, pro athletes and shit like that. You're like. Yeah, what the fuck? I mean, it happens, bro, but it, I mean, it's it's happening a lot more. More. Now. Yeah. I mean, so, I don't know. I mean, I didn't take it. I mean, I, I don't know. Yeah, it, it could happen. It could come down to the fact that they, they force you to take it, you know? Right, right. Yeah. And then you have no choice, you know what I mean? Like, I don't know. It's kind of scary, though, bro. I don't know if we're ready for another lockdown, though, you know? Like, would you do anything different? Uh, Not take the vaccine. <laughs> I'm not taking any more vaccines, bro. I'm done. I'm done. Why, um, why is that though? Why? Because of what you just said right now, bro. So like you, you do hear that. you do hear like more. Yeah, yeah, yeah. hundred percent. That um yeah, bro. Like I, I maybe I'm getting more into like conspiracy theories and shit. And I think I, I sent you a TikTok of this one dude that was like the the patent for it was like back from like nineteen ninety two or something like that. For the coronavirus, yes, coronavirus is, is kind of like a common cold, but for this specifically where you can like modify it, like they this was it. this was patented already back in 1992, and like SARS and all this. So it's like, we all know it's lab created. We all know it came from China, you know, all that shit. There was, well, it didn't come from China, though. They said it was from here. It was from here? That's what that person said, that video that you sent me? Yeah, 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 yeah. But, like, where it actually um, got leaked. Oh, yeah, like yeah. Where, like, yeah. Where Supposedly. It, like, right, well, because China got hit hard right away. Like, it came from China. Like, it, 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 it started, started and then, it, yeah, yeah, that's what I mean. Yeah, but it was yeah. our virus. But it was our virus. It was our shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's crazy. So... And then you tweaked me out. I was like, wait, what the fuck? No. And no, Pfizer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And Pfizer. Pfizer was the one who. Creating these uh, vaccines since vaccines back then. Since back then. So it wasn't like all of a sudden they have a vaccine now. No, they've been working on it. Well, what they were saying. Yeah, exactly. That's what I was going to go at. Like what they were saying is that the. Like they were su- in such short, short amount of time and high demand that they couldn't find the solution quick enough but i was like bro y'all been working on this solution since back then y'all like had over it. 20 years ago yeah like y'all been had it yeah so because of not just because of that tiktok but just i'm talking like in general like i'm just kind of done with it um i think you know the covid you just gonna have to, you have to take it like a cold or when you get sick you're sick stay the fuck home that's about it you know what i mean like i don't know 
I, I, I hate getting sick. So it's like, if I don't want you to get sick, bro, like I'm, I'm going to just stay home. Like that, that's it. So I'm not going to do anything more to it. So I'm going to do a lot less, I guess. Cause back then, yes, we were like worried, right? We were like, you know, we can't get together. We can't record. We can't, you know, this like, Hey, wait, two weeks, wait, you know, stay home or whatever the fuck. Now it's going to be like, are you all right? You feel good? Like, yeah, fuck, who are we? Like, it's going to happen. I feel like. Yeah. What about the lockdown? Would you prepare different? Um, nah, not really, bro. Cause we didn't really prepare for the lockdown. Like, so well, there was no toilet paper way anywhere. That was about it. That was probably like the most food. No, food was scarce too, bro. We were good. Yeah. Like we, I mean, we had, but I don't think we like planned like that. Maybe we just got lucky and we had a little, you know, food and we would just go buy as we need. I don't know. Yeah, but, but I don't the think I would do were much. empty, bro. Not like that, bro. Not the way. Not like how for us it was, compa. Like neta, for, like grocery stores were empty, dude. Nah, I mean there there was there was some times where like yeah like casi no había like lunch meat or whatever the fuck but you would still find a couple packs here and there. Or That's scary, stuff. bro. Yeah, yeah, it is, it is. But I don't think I would do anything different Just because like when do you prep? Wait, when do you when like do you start packing now? Like, well they say yeah you're supposed to have like, um. But I'm saying for like meats and shit like that. Like no wait, say- but no other meats wait. You're gonna be in a pandemic when a lockdown. You're gonna have food that you stored, so you're not running out of food. That's what I'm saying. So though, you're for, not. Oh, like, I guess so you're not like, going for- to like ah. There's a little bit of lunch meat. Like you don't have to go out. You don't go out. Like hey, there's lentil beans. There's canned food. So are you gonna prep? Um, I feel like we've been kind of prepping, like buying things. You like know, the lata. Have- no, the lata way, pero tener como cosas como. Uh, oatmeal, beans, lentils, and stuff like that. Yeah. Like, things that don't go bad right? that quick, you know? And, yeah, I feel like we kind of buy stuff. You're stocked? Not super stocked, but it's always been a topic, you know? Um, mm-hmm. Candles and stuff like that. Batteries. Stuff like, you never know. Compa. Yeah, yeah. I feel like the government has a lot of control, bro. Power goes out. Yeah, a lot of us are know? fucked. They started shutting down gas. I mean, like, I don't know, bro. This shit, this shit can go crazy, compa. And, like, as long as, yeah, no más se acaba la comida, compa, y se acabó el rollo, compa. Because I think a lot of people start starving, they start going crazy, you know? 100%. So, I just don't think it'll get that bad, but I know, I get what you mean. Yeah, yeah. I don't, I just don't think it'll get that bad. God think, forbid. Yeah. People in Ukraine probably thought that too, dog. Like, I don't think it'll get that bad. I don't trust I don't know. I don't bro. trust these fools, though. I, I think there's yeah, like it can get crazy. It can get crazy. I just don't think we've been hit that crazy yet. Um, I just don't think this new wave is really gonna do much just because I feel like a lot of people won't freak out as much this the second time, this second go around. If if we do even have like that, that many cases or whatever, like how they're saying that we might have, I, I just don't think. I think a lot of people are gonna be like, man, fuck you, bro. Like we're still gonna live our life because, like whatever. We don't yeah, care. people get sick. They get, they get sick, sick. Whatever. Yeah, yeah. And just the whole thing. Like you're sick, stay the fuck home. That's it. You know, they're chill out. And yeah, God forbid, you know, you get really fucking sick. But I mean, there's people that do, and yeah, there's people that do. They're gone. Like yeah, yeah, and there's people that after the COVID, uh, after coronavirus, and after the vaccine, they never got okay. Like it, and something was in their body still that kept fucking them up, and yeah. then eventually they passed. Yep, I know of a lot of people like that. Como que se les quedó algo, una secuela, wey. Like they were never okay. <laughs> so yeah. I don't know. It's a scary thing, bro. But it's sad to know that. These fools plan all that shit, you know. Even if it's conspiracy right now, but I'm sure there's there's some truth to it, right? There right. has to be. Um, I think so. Yeah, yeah, I think so too, bro. My so. thing is like, how much money is there to be made? You know, like why? It's a lot of why, fucking money, way. Why though? Pa que quieren tanto, way? So yeah, if you're already like the elite, like what? What do you need? You know, like. How much more can you accomplish? You know, how much more can you need? How well, much then more you, can you do? Then you go into the whole conspiracy of like population control. 
Okay. Right? Uh, I mean, that could be part of it. But it's like... I mean, if you're thinking, like, conspiracy, right? Like, because if, if you already have pretty much all the money, you like, there's no way you will run out because you have so much money. Yeah. But the next thing would just be population control because money is not going to be a motive anymore. But then again, like, even if you're that elite, you know, the one percenters or whatever the hell, right? You're still going to just die, bro. Like, everybody just dies, you know? Like, live life, bro. If you're already rich, like, okay, enjoy it, you know? And you're still going to die like everybody else, bro. Yeah. That's one thing guaranteed for everybody. We're all going to die, you know? Like, nope. so, okay, you're going to control population. Okay, cool. And then what? You're still going to fucking die. Yeah. Like, you know what I mean? Like, I feel I feel like people just focus on the, on the wrong things, compa. It could be probably population control, people that just like power. I feel like it, right now where you were talking about that, I was thinking about that movie where um, all these rich people are doing sick ass shit, bro. No, it wasn't the movie. It wasn't it the game, the the Netflix show. Like what are we? Uh, the Chinese uh, show. Oh, Squid Games. Yeah. Yeah. It kind of reminded me of that. That they were so rich that they were bored and they just started doing that, you know. Yeah. And I could, I, it could be something. Similar it could be to something that, like that. You know? Yeah. It's like. Like, just because I can make them do this. On a bigger scale. You know yeah. What I mean? But I feel like there is that. Yeah, I think like, so. Like, that show didn't come out of nowhere, bro. No. I mean, same thing with, like, uh, like the purge way. So there was, like, and now, obviously, they're not going out and purging, you know, the population. But where they're, like, the high society is having these games, like, in the purge. Like, I don't know if you saw that I part or whatever. I've never seen the movies. Oh, you've never seen it? No. So they have something like that. It's not exactly like Squid Games, but it's oh, it's almost like that, where it's like you got these rich-ass people, like, all, like, in a uh, fucking, in a room, right, whatever, and they got money to blow. So it's like, yeah, kill that person, kill this person, like, make this person dance, then fucking chop off their head, you know, shit like that, just for their entertainment. That's the nuts, bro. But it, I don't feel like it's far-fetched. I feel like it's definitely very real. Yeah. Did you see, uh, and real quick, I know you have other things, but uh, right before coming here, I saw a TikTok. Well, it wasn't just a TikTok. It was Noticias Univision. They posted on Instagram, I think. It was Instagram. Um, where the Mexican military is chasing a black truck. And I think it's Tamaulipas. Tamaulipas. And the truck, boom, smashes into a fence, bro. And the army pulls up on them, takes them out, lines them up against the fence. And th this is all being recorded. Then they start acting like they're getting attacked, you know? So they start shooting against the trees. And then, but there's nothing coming at them, bro. Oh, shit. So they end up killing these people on mm. video without, probably without knowing. Gets leaked. Now they're in some shit. Damn. But they, I didn't see that video. But they played it off, bro. Like... They started shooting at like if they were being attacked from like behind the trees or something. But you can see in the video that like nobody's shooting at them. Nobody's shooting at them. There's a guy like in front of the truck on the corner, like kind of watching the guys. And there's a couple guys behind the truck, kind of like supposedly cuidándose que no yeah. les Pero puro pedo, compa. Damn. And they execute these other fools. But what's really gonna happen though? I mean, this is probably corrupt. nothing, this right? Is, yeah. So. This is corruption at its best. I don't know, man. I mean, when you see it like that, if there is somebody like, like, let's say the president is not corrupt as fuck, maybe he'll get to the bottom of, of a layer, you know, and be like, all right, well, you're out, you know, like go to, go to prison. Those people that were actually at the, whatever you want to call it, como se dice, como cuando they're, they're doing a job. Ah, oh, fuck. I, I lost the track of, uh. The words way. Whatever. They're doing this high-speed chase or whatever. Maybe those people will get, you know, arrested too or charged for something. Mm. I mean, it was a group of like five military men, you know? Oh, shit. They'll get discharged in military time or something. I don't know. Yeah. Someone's going to take the fall for it, right? Somebody's taking the fall for it for sure. But I'm saying, but if the president is corrupt too, then, yeah. then nothing's really going to happen. You know, just eh, pinpoint some few things and like, all right, you're done, you know? Go to jail for a couple months, and once everybody forgets, you come hang out with us again, whatever, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I was like, damn, that sucks. I mean, if you make it to Univision with that type of news, bro, that's fucked up. That is, way Because you would think the president or whoever, it's like corrupt enough where like, hey, don't post that shit. 
Right. But maybe he's not. But maybe, yeah. yeah maybe yeah, he's yeah. a good president and he's he's like, no. Nah, maybe. Maybe. Who knows? I don't know. I don't live there. It's, so far, it seems like he's doing some things that I'm like, all right. That's I fuck crazy, with, man. you know? Tamalipas is crazy, though, right now. Yeah. That thing is, that's where the two, uh, three, you know, two African Americans and the girl. Oh, that's yeah. That's where yeah, that yeah, happened, yeah. too. A lot of shit has been happening there, compa. Yeah. They've been on the news a lot. Yeah. But this happened to, like, over just the, a, yeah, just yeah, last apenas. week or this week. Yeah. Damn. And they posted it. I was like, damn. Yeah, I didn't, I didn't see that, bro. I didn't see that at all. Uh, but speaking about Mexico, right now, just because you brought it up, where they they purchased, uh, I think, where they're making, uh, they're, fuck, man, lithium? Or is it lithium? Or, mm-hmm. or right? But yeah, it's like it's a government owned now though, but yeah. it's not like a the president bought that. Yeah, shit. yeah, yeah, not a private company. Yep. But now it's like U.S. is getting pissed. Yeah. They want in on that shit. This president is doing that shit, bro. Yeah. I feel like I don't know how corrupt he is, right? But for sure, he's doing something for the para Mexico para que esté so they're a powerhouse. Right, right, right. I feel like he's moving that way. Yeah. I wonder how many more years he has left. I don't know. It seems like he's been there already a little bit. Probably four. Like, yeah, so he's or probably three. got like two more years left, maybe. Yeah, maybe. I don't, I don't know. know. I don't know, man. But but he, the, I guess I agree with you. It does seem like he's moving pieces to, right there. to better. Oh, right in front of you, right here, coming down. Oh shit! I'm gonna nah, hey, just fling it like shit. this. Look. No way! It's my perro, way. So what? They're gonna eat it. I'm not gonna eat that shit. Hold on. Oh, oh that's gone, bro. <laughs> hey, fool, move out the way. He's probably going to bite you. Nah, he ain't going to bite. Uh, it was a long leg. They don't bite, no? Daddy long legs? Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. That motherfucker's going to land on me, fool. I saw it, though. I watched. I got your back, bro. <laughs> but you told me yeah, when it was like right here. Wait. Well, that's what I saw, it, dude. Yeah, me va a morir a la verga. Um... Yeah, who knows, man? Let's hope he's doing the right thing for Mexico, bro. Maybe we'll end up moving out there, man. Maybe. 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 I keep seeing that, too, like on my TikTok feed, like people moving to Mexico. Like from here, either they got deported or they just like went out there because they're like, man, fuck the U.S. type shit. And it didn't, it it somewhat makes me want to move out there. Like, man, these motherfuckers did it and they speak English. And I, I, fuck, I can speak English, obviously, kind of. Being pendejo, but I could, you know, I'm I like, I could probably, I could probably get a fucking cost center job or some shit, or yeah. and make an okay living out there. But I'm like, fuck. And then I'd be like, man, I don't. I do get scared with. It is scary, but I don't. You I think don't you would leave, do it? I would do it. I don't leave it out. Just not yet. Just not yet. If she goes fucking south here, like or sideways or whatever, like you would. Yeah, I feel like we'd be able to survive off. it. Yeah. I think we'll survive. I think you have to do what you got to do. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. I I definitely think it would be a move. I mean, I already, if I could work from out there, I think it would have already happened, to be honest. Oh, bro. Get paid when you get paid out here. My wife doesn't want to, but like, I think we would have done it. Made that move already? Yeah, like I would have been like, yo, we got to, man. This is what's best, you know? But who knows? But yeah, we can't, so. Nah, this fool. What are you doing, bro? My dog, sorry. Um, so lastly, bro, just uh just the five words oh, thing. Five uh words. we're gonna we have this like little segment where my compa know he's gonna say some five words and I just kinda either respond to we were supposed to have Bartle to this, first of all. Which I didn't even mention in the beginning. Fucking Bartle's cause I'm out of the way. Yeah, he got busy. He got busy. Oh, so I got to probably delete one of these words. Actually, I'll leave it on there for fun. For fun? fun. Because it, these words were more for Bardo. For Bardo? Yeah, but let's let's go. Custom for Bart. Y nos quedó mal. Pinche Bart. I want. So are you going to answer as I go or? I mean, give me a chance, at, right? One at, one, one at a time. One okay, at a time. One at a time. So basically, no, he's going to uh, give us some words. And then I got to respond to him like with a word or a, a phrase. Because sometimes, you know, you can't really... Yeah, anyways. Okay, so go ahead. cool. All right. And this is not... Th- I'm not saying them in the order that I wrote them. I'm just going to go random. Okay. All right. Family. Like... 
I'm trying to think of like how I can put it in words, but uh, I just love. Love. Okay. Love. Durango. Saludos. <laughs> what a bitch. <laughs> what did you really think? <laughs> I'm just talking shit. Oh, shit. War. Not necessary. Nice. Nice. Pink. Not my color. Betrayal. Too common. Too common. All right. That's good, bro. I feel like you you answered really well, bro. Yeah. <laughs> well, the pink one. <laughs> uh, too common, bro. Betrayal. Betrayal is too too common. Way. I feel like. Uh, yeah, way. I don't know. I mean. I I, I I mean, I thought about the words without thinking of an answer for them. You okay. Know? But now that you've heard them, what would be your answer to, I mean, I'll, and I'll bring them back to you. Uh, what's those, what's those really? Like family. family. For me right now, when you were thinking, I was like most important, you know? Oh, um, sure. Hell yeah. hundred percent. Pink in the center. Steak way. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> what were you thinking? Nah, nah, you want to. Taco de ojo, dude. Betrayal? I didn't think of one. I thought your answer was really good. Uh, you know, far too common or too common, you know? Yeah. I, I didn't think of anything for that, you know? And even right now, I can't even think of anything. Um, Durango, you you got me, dog, because like, you said saludos. You're saludos. Like, and I, I was like, yo, this fool. But <laughs> what were you gonna was, say? I don't know. That, I didn't think of anything for that either. I well, just thought it was funny. Way. Uh, no, because when I think of Durango, <laughs> the only thing I could Grinch, 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 what's up? Saludos. No, nah, the, the first thing, uh, como lo hupo, you know, como lo hupo, como lo hupo. Um, that's something like they also uh, says that all the time. The, um, the <clears throat> what, what they don't, what they, they don't pronounce like this, they don't pronounce something. Or they, they kind of roll it or, oh, God damn it. Oh, like the CH? Is they more they make it more like SH or some shit? I thought that was Chihuahua. No, I think that's Durango too. Do they? Yeah. Because I know like, one, shout out to my cousins. They're from, they're my, uh, their dad is from Durango. So and they'll say, they'll say like, uh, Checo instead of Checo. Like they don't do the. El compa Checo. Checo, yeah. <laughs> I swear, bro. Neta. That's funny as hell. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, those words were for Bardo. For pero. Bardo. Yeah. Fucking Bardo. But yeah, dude, I thought that, I thought you answered really well, compa. I don't know if I would have been that that well put together for those words. Yeah, I can't think of the whole betrayal thing. But I just think it's just too too common, you know. Uh, pink, pink. That one was funny. <laughs> in the middle. <laughs> pink in the middle. Pink in the center, bro. Pink in the center. Yeah. You like your steak like that though? Mm -hmm. Like, uh, what would you say? Like me medium. Or more like rare? No, medium, bro. Medium, and if I mean, if you're gonna leave it more rare, then I'm not a big fan. Like, I don't want like tons of blood coming out of it. Mm. But medium, if you know how to cook it, medium, I'm good with it. Just medium. Yeah. Not medium, medium well. Or you're more I, like on the medium well side. No, medium is fine. Medium. Pero a veces te lo dejan muy crudo, way. Like no lo hacen medium way. So Sin that's more. where I don't like that, you know. So if I if I go to a place and I don't want to deal with that, I'll just say medium well. Okay. But I like it medium. Like, if I'm cooking it at my house, I'll go medium. Okay. Definitely not well done. No, no, no. No. You need that juice, bro. So that much. juice is what gives it that flavor, bro. Okay. And it's um, más suavecito, wey, para masticarlo. Once you cook it to a certain point, it's really hard to chew. Because I, when it's not the one, one couple of times that I went to a fucking steakhouse, way, mm -hmm. and I've always been told... I think like by, probably by my mom, my OG, whatever, like you don't ever want to, you know, well done because yeah. that's but nasty yeah. or, you know, uh, bacteria and, and whatever, you know. So I went to a steakhouse and uh, I ordered from I ordered mine well done. And the dude looked at me like I just committed a sin way. Like I just like yeah. how the how dare you, motherfucker, you like know, you were going to pay for all this, yeah, all this like, uh, money for the steak and you're like ruining it. Yeah. And I went to Gibson's too. So oh, was, yeah, you were ruining it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So the dude was just like. Gave me that side eye, kind of like, are you, are you sure? And I was like, yeah, I don't want to get sick. <laughs> 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 like, you fucking idiot. Pinch your pies that way. You have Valentina in the back, too, fool? Like, damn, bro. Now, when you go now, what, how would you order it? Medium well? Medium well. 
And I think that still gets you a good steak. Yeah. I don't feel like you're too far off, you know? Yeah, medium well. That's like, that's so far my go to. Just because like, I still have that where it's like, not that I'm going to get sick with, but like, I don't know if I'm, because I'm not used to it and I probably will get sick. Oh. You know what I mean? I still have some places where I go and order a burger, bro. And sometimes, you know how sometimes the, the patties are so big, bro, mm. that they didn't cook it all the way good. And it's, it's more than pink. It's mm. still red. Mm. And I'm not a big fan of that. You know, yeah. like, I need it to be nice and pink in the center, bro. Like, yeah. being. But is it like the asco? Like, if it's too. If it's too red, see, yeah. like, porque no lo cocinaron bien. You know, like, Simone. I like. A mí me gusta medium. I don't like it rare. You know, like, I don't like. Si me da asco que esté rare. Simon. Like, okay. that's just me. You know what I mean? But if it's medium and it's cooked good, bro, like, lo hacen como debe de ser, güey. Like, ta perro. Wey. It's good, bro. Sure. I recommend it. Yeah. But you're not you're try, not far from it, bro. Because if, if you're doing medium well, like sometimes they leave it medium. You know what I mean? And you're like, oh, cool. Yeah. Like you're uh, for me when I order medium well, I'm hoping that they leave it medium and like it's right where I want it. You know, it's like ah, oh, perfect, bro. For I sure. did, yeah, I did great. I I mean I'll, I'll ask for medium next time to see if like if there's like a that big of a fucking difference, you know? Yeah, just tell them in between medium and medium well. <laughs> and see what? They're gonna fucking slap me and shit. <laughs> like shut the fuck up. <laughs> Oh, oh shit, know. bro. Anyways, I think that was it, bro. I think we did good. So uh obviously we had more stuff for because Bart was gonna be here. Yeah. Pero pues, pues no. But we'll come uh next week with more guests. Uh hopefully we'll have here is the the walk pod crew. So Jesse, Fry, Carlos, shout out Carlos. Shout out everybody, uh, Fry, Jesse. That's the, well, we should be having them on soon, probably, the, hopefully, the next couple of weeks. Uh, Pod fam. Pod fam. Having them on, for the, hopefully, in the next couple of weeks, también. Um, I told you about the homie Ricardo. Yep. Having him on. So we have we have a, a little bit of. We're going to start getting some guests in here, guys. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, the last month or so, it's been, you know, uh, obviously, our schedules and, and stuff like that. So. Uh, but now we'll start. We'll be bringing in guests. I know you guys enjoy enjoy the guests, and uh, we'll bring them in, and so we can have a good conversation with them, which is always a good time with with all all of those guests uh, from the Walk Pod crew for uh, to the Pod Fam. Hopefully, we can reschedule with Bardo, and we'll go from there. Make it happen. All right. So other than that, this is it. Smokers on Filters. Thank you guys for listening for watching. Thanks for watching.